welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an Amazon home decor haul. If you are new to my channel, my style is very neutral and minimal. Lots of luxury decor dupes that I'm going to be sharing today. Also, we're now in springtime. I love to do some spring cleaning, lots of decluttering throughout my home and organization. So I bought a lot of Amazon home organizers for my pantry. I'm going to do a whole video on that bathroom, kitchen, everything. So I'm going to be sharing all my new home decor finds and also some Amazon home organization. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the home decor finds and then we'll get into some of the home organizers. So I'm going to start off with this set of antique inspired candlestick holders. It comes in a set of three. They're all a little bit different. You can actually get it in a set of two as well, but the set of three is about $28. I like to do candlestick holders with obviously a candlestick in them or just on display like this. I actually think that I'm going to switch out the ones I have behind me with maybe two of these. Those are also from Amazon if you want more of like a minimal look. If you don't want all of these like antique detailing, I love these candlesticks so much. They've been in my background for a while. Um, so I will link those below as well, but I love this look is just like very feminine. I could also add these to like a bathroom as well for like a little decorative moment on a tray. So you can style these in a bunch of different ways. I also love putting candlesticks on coffee table books. I have a bunch of coffee table books that I'm going to be sharing today as well. And a lot of the home decor items that I purchased are specifically going to be for some shelf styling that I'm going to be sharing very soon. Next, getting into this large wood serving bowl retails for about $31. I love having like some wood accents on my shelf styling and throughout my home. I live in Southern California and I really want that kind of coastal um look in my home but in a more modern way not in like a beachy way just something that kind of reminds you of being on the coast without being so obvious about it so i really love this wooden serving bowl i just styled some beauty products in here the other day if you are a content creator if you love taking product photography i love items like this as well for different kinds of pictures but this will be styled on a shelf and i always take things down from my shelf styling um, to do some flat lay <laughs> so it is multi-purpose i love the details on it it is a little pricier for a tray from amazon but it is very very good quality and i feel like it really looks very high end the next up we have some faux greenery we have these olive branch stems i'm always looking for some greenery to add in vases throughout my home. I have a ton on coffee tables, on different sideboards in my home, and I love olive trees. I have olive trees in my living room, and I wanted to incorporate some more olive leaves throughout my home. So I got this three pack. You can see the bottom is bended, but it is very much adjustable. These are 28 inches, so you can put them in a really big vase or just bend them down for something smaller. It looks kind of fake the way it is without it being in a vase, but once you add it to a vase and fluff it out and like turn down the leaves and style them, it ends up fluffing up and looking a lot more realistic. So I think that I'm gonna be adding this to one of my vases that I'm gonna be styling on a shelf because I wanted to still add some greenery to my shelves as well. So it's not just like super, neutral and beige i wanted some pops of colors with some greenery as well so next we have this statement ceramic vase that looks like a macaroni noodle and it makes me so happy <laughs> this one's retails for about 31 dollars. i have another vase i believe it's from the same brand right behind me from amazon i love these like ceramic design vases so cute and you can actually add things to the vase as well i do plan on adding some um pampas to like one side and just have it look like very minimal and it also will be very cute on top of a coffee table book either on a coffee table or on a shelf so that is why i wanted to get this one i love this one it's one of my favorite vases in my home i always have it in my flat my photos or just different pictures that i have on my instagram so I wanted to get another one that was pretty cool. This one's awesome. There's a bunch of different shaped faces from this brand if you wanna check them out, but those are two that I currently have in my home. The next I also got this wooden bowl. It comes in two sizes between like 15 and 20 bucks. I 
think this would be so cute on your kitchen counter for i guess it's too big for like salt <laughs> it's way too big for that but you can add like a sponge to it or a brush like on display with your soap on your kitchen counter um you can also use this for jewelry for makeup whatever you want you can also fill it with something decorative i love that it has like a little stand i do also plan on adding this to a shelf like on top of a coffee table book i think that'd be so cute or you can add like some pebbles or something and add a um, larger candle in it as well i really like the shape of this bowl too i was just really happy to find a lot more unique shops on amazon that didn't look like super generic i really like these kind of like unique pieces that are really solid wood, have a really unique shape to them and details to them as well that look a lot more expensive than they are. I also picked up one more bowl. This is a six inch ceramic bowl for about $16. This brand also has like plates and bowls that are different sizes. This one would be a really cute jewelry dish too or on your nightstand just to throw in whatever you need, throw in your glasses, lip balm, whatever. This is another thing I'm adding to my shelf. <laughs> Basically everything will be added to a shelf, but you can mix this up and put these in different areas in your home. This would also look really cute in a bathroom to add like bath bombs or something like that in there too. I love that it looks like very handmade and more luxury and custom when it's only $16 on Amazon. So I also have some larger bowls in my home that I wanted to fill, so I got these moss balls on amazon a pack of six for 17 dollars these were highly reviewed on amazon i really love the look of these i feel like these look very good quality i love that they're a little bit of a darker green and that way i'll add them to that same shelf where i'm adding some of these olive leaves and i have some different shades of green going on in there and i'll just add it. i'm gonna add it to a much bigger bowl than this but i'll just kind of fill it with like three i don't think that was the best example <laughs> But I'm just gonna fill like a larger bowl with like three of these and it's definitely gonna kind of elevate it, add some height, literally elevate it, and then add a different element to the shelf without just having a bunch of empty bowls throughout it. So next up I picked up four different coffee table books that are very popular. I see them all the time on like Instagram. They're also highly rated on Amazon. And I've been skimming through these books for the last several days and I'm like inspired to go through them like cover to cover. So the first one, it's called Minimalista, and this is your step-by-step -step guide to better home, wardrobe, and life. So this is more of like a lifestyle, very like minimal, neutral, uh, basically keeping your home organized, cleaning tips, organization tips, everything like that. This book is a bit more text heavy. I turn to a page that's just full of text, especially compared to some of the other books that I'm going to be sharing, but just like a lot of home organization tips, different styling ideas if you want to kind of get into new habits with your home to keep it organized and create like a routine. It also goes into a lot of detail on decluttering, closet cleanouts. This is just a really great book if you want to get into organizing for springtime, you want a little bit of motivation, and then also something that you can style on a coffee table or a shelf. So I'm going to be adding this to shelf, but I'm also going to be adding it to like my reading list for this month. The next book, and that one's about 20 bucks. All of these books are about 20 to $25. The next one is Made for Living. So if you follow Amber Interiors on Instagram, I love all of the entire Instagram account. Um, she co-wrote this book. Basically, just her style is absolutely spectacular. This is a book where you're gonna get a lot of design inspo. Lots of like very modern organic styles and also like transitional styles. I just love all her designs. So for design inspo, I think that this would be my number one pick out of everything that I'm sharing just because I'm more familiar with Amber Interiors. The other books, I just saw that they were highly rated and also I've been seeing them on Instagram. So I wanted to check them out. And then we have this book at home that is very similar to the Made for Living book. Just going to give you a lot of design inspo as well. And then this is what it looks like from the side if you want to style it on a coffee table. And then lastly, I have the book Live Beautiful. This one is also going to give you a lot of design inspo and different pictures and examples of the different tips they share in this book. So... Definitely all of them are kind of similar, very neutral, modern aesthetic. 
um, and they all give you a lot of tips on different design ideas and different elements of design and then examples of those designs from different interior designers. So I love these, especially because I'm trying to always learn more and get ideas and examples of things that I wanna add to my home. So I will be styling these and also reading them and probably just like taking pictures, saving different ideas from them for reference. So those are all of the home decor finds. Let's move into the home organization. I'm gonna start off with something fun that I am so excited to do. This is gonna be what are my projects this week? Okay, this is a lot in here, so I'm just gonna show you like one or two of these and then I'll insert what they look like as well once I take them all out. These were top rated on Amazon. So what it is, it's a 24 pack airtight containers of um, different organizers for your pantry. And then all of the lids are interchangeable, so you don't have to mix and match them or lose them and then it also comes with chalkboard stickers to add labels and also a chalkboard marker and one of the reasons i was really putting off doing this kind of pinterest inspired pantry organization was because for the longest time i just thought that this whole system was a little impractical when it comes to especially expiration dates and then also um not having labeled like different types of rices or flowers or kind of getting everything jumbled up. So the fact that it comes with labels and they're also erasable makes it very easy to use because I'll put the name of the product right on the label. And then I might add the expiration date right underneath it when it comes to certain items that do expire in my pantry. So I think that that makes it a lot more practical. So this whole system of 24 organizers is $53. I believe they have a couple different sizes as well and I read so many reviews because I had to convince myself I'm like do I want a Pinterest pantry or do I want a practical pantry and basically reading all of the reviews convinced me that I can have both with this system all right so I'm gonna be doing like a whole production in my pantry this month I also wanted to get some baskets I love the look of this these baskets, I always see them in those Pinterest inspired pantry. Once I got the containers, I'm like, we're going all out. We're committing to the full Pinterest pantry organization that is gonna be part of who I am from this day forward. So this is a pack of four bins that you could add to your pantry or your bathroom. I love these little handles. You can definitely get bins that are more affordable, but I just absolutely love the look of these. A uh, four pack in white is $41. They also are available in black as well. So they are a bit pricier, especially for Amazon, but I feel like I would be a lot more excited and motivated to keep these organized because they already look so cute. So that was my thinking behind it. Um, I think it's a one-time purchase and I can use these for years. So I love the look of these and it also kind of gives me nostalgia for when I was a kid and I had like one of those like little fake kitchens and pretending to grocery shop <laughs> and I feel like this was a little basket that I had as a kid it really reminds me of that so super cute for your bathroom for your pantry your kitchen check these out if you want a very aesthetic bathroom or kitchen organization however we do have some clear plastic bins as well because I was not about to buy four packs of these. All right, so here is our more affordable alternative. I also wanted to get some different size bins. So this is a pack of six bins for $28. Um, four large bins and two smaller ones. This is a solid pack of acrylic organizers. You get a ton of them, and I love that they come with two different sizes. So another option, if you don't want to splurge on those um, wire organizers, I wanted to mix both and see how I like to use them for different things in my pantry specifically, and then probably for like under sink for my bathroom as well. These are super, super roomy. So I have one more pack of acrylic organizers, and these are specifically can organizers. They come, I got them in a four pack for about $25, but you can also get them in a two pack or a six pack so i fill my fridge up with seltzers every week i love seltzer water i love it and getting like a million different flavors 
and this is just like a better way to keep them organized you can stack all the cans in here and then just grab them one at a time so I'm going to add a few of these to my fridge. So just another way to add some organization to your fridge. And it also kind of makes it fun too. Like it feels like you're gonna have a vending machine or something in your fridge with these. So next up, I got a two pack of these clear acrylic Lazy Susans. I have one under my kitchen sink. It is game changing. This is the other one I have that I'm gonna be adding to my bathroom sink. And it just spins around. I love that it's acrylic. It makes it look very clean under the sink. I have all of my um, kitchen like cleaners on it and that way I can just rotate and find the one that I want because otherwise the bottles would just be chaotic all over the place and that's how it was basically my whole life until I purchased this. It's actually very practical, very fun to use. You could also use this for a pantry, for your spices, for your oil, like oil and vinegar and all that. Um, under your bathroom too for like hair products. I might actually try that out underneath my bathroom because I need to organize under my bathroom sink. And these are also available in a few different sizes. So my very last organization item are these drawer dividers. I just posted a video on my shorts and on my Instagram and on my TikTok on organizing my makeup drawer with these dividers. They are these wooden dividers that basically make your cabinets look custom. They kind of blend into whatever wooden cabinets you have. There's this like little tab right here. You just pull it out. And then from there, the divider expands and it's customizable. I got this in the larger size. It comes with four dividers for $25. The smaller ones are also the same price. So you can just measure your drawer. I didn't measure my drawer before I bought these, but just measure your drawer and you can pick out whatever size works for you. Definitely a bathroom organization. And then you can see it has these little um, dividers within them. And then with these, you just add them to the spacers in the dividers. And that way you can customize your drawer. That's what I did with my makeup drawer. I just added a few of these so I can section off like my foundations, concealers, beauty blenders, everything. And this makes me so happy. It makes my makeup drawer look so much better. So definitely recommend these for beauty, for makeup, also for like jewelry too and kitchen and anything like that. So those are all my new Amazon home finds. I'll have all the products that I mentioned today listed below. I also plan on doing some videos on my shelf styling and pantry organization very soon so stay tuned for those and if you are interested in more amazon videos i will link my playlist here as well and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys soon in my next video thank you so much for watching bye